Uh, and then there is the TV presentation that accompanies it. Uh, so this year is quite different. It will be different for the DNC, um, and it appears that it will also be different uh, for the RNC, for the Republican National Convention as well, where the TV show uh, is it. Um, I think that I have been struck by the ability of the speakers to be right in your face, uh, right in your living room or wherever you're watching. Uh, and that connection is a different one. I think that uh, probably the, the most striking thing um, over the several days, and I'm, I'm not going to um, comment here too much on the content of the speeches, um, but the most striking thing was listening to people, Americans all over the country, uh, delivering uh, their delegates and um, realizing how much I missed being able to think about going um, and visiting other places. And it was like traveling around the country. Uh, it was marvelous. And Dr. Nesta probably really liked it. Um, but it was good to see the diversity uh, of our country, but also the diversity of people who care about our country uh, and care about making a change. Um, so that was uh, quite remarkable. The last thing I'll say ab about it um, was uh, seeing Kamala Harris accept the vice presidential nomination, I thought was a huge step uh, for our country. Her story is an American story of, uh, it's just, it's, it's a quint in my view, a quintessential American story of family, hard work, sacrifice, um, leading to the point uh, where, where she is today on the precipice of going to the White House. So I, I feel very proud about that. Dr. Carlson's comments? Uh, I only saw a snippet of Tucker Carson's comments, and the snippet I saw was, you know, it was erroneous. People are not leaving D.C. in droves. In fact, D.C. is still one of the hottest places to live in America.